Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to understand that how we can run Node.js backend architecture in the TypeScript on our local machine. So we have open sourced the software which you can see on the screen. So this has been well received by the community. So I will tell you that what are the steps that you need to take in order to run this project and also I'll show you how we can call the API using this project. Okay, so let's get started. So if you are new here to subscribe to our channel or hit the bell button so that you will get the latest update delivered first to you. So this project as you can find on the GitHub, the URL you can find in the description below. So this project presents a TypeScript based Node.js architecture. So in this project, we have developed a blogging platform. You can find all the information about the project in this readme. So we have also written one complete instruction and the conceptual blog for it. So you can find the link for the blog here. So you can learn the concepts used in this project. So you have to click to this link and this will open up the blog. In this blog, I have described each and everything related to the concepts used in this blog. So you can go through this article and you will understand why something is being done in the project. The reason you can find it here. Okay. So now let's start and run our application. First thing you need to do is clone this project. So it's downloaded. Let's open it. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can use the same. Just drag and drop on the Visual Studio Code. So this is the project. So as you can see in the instruction in the readme, you'll find the steps that you need to take in order to run this project. Before running this project, you have to do few more things. That is you need to install the Docker. So you can install the Docker from their official website. So if you have Mac OS, you can download this desktop application, which I am also using. If you have Windows, you can download this one. And if you have other operating system like Ubuntu, then here is the step that you can follow for the Ubuntu. Okay. So make sure you download this Docker and Docker Compose, and then you will be able to run this project. And also I would want you to download one more framework that is MongoDB Compass. So this is also available on their official website. You can download it from here. Okay. I'll tell you how to use it further in this video. So now that you have downloaded this project as the step says, first, what you have to do, you have to create one, your copy of dot ENV. Okay. This is example, but this has all the things that is required. You can modify as per your requirement. Okay. So I'll just copy it and rename it as dot env similarly we have to do for the keys okay and just paste it and rename it okay similarly for the public okay now one more thing you have to change in the test you have to make this environment variable file okay so now we are ready to go so make sure that your docker is running so let me run the docker so docker is starting up and now docker is running so now let's run our project so now we are ready to run our project using docker. So run the command docker compose up minus t in the background. 
so it will download your mongo similarly it will download your node js and then it will copy all the project files and then execute it so now you can see that our build is ready and you are running your mongo in your application so vs code has one very uh, good tool that is docker you can install it from your extensions so this tool helps you manage your docker instances there you can see that you have all the images and your containers so this is a very good tool so now our project is running so we can call our api let's have a test on this so on the repository you will find a link to the api docs open that link so here you will find all the apis listed here that our project supports so let's use the sign up for this okay so in the postman what you have to do uh, you have to call this api so this structure of this api is this so what i am going to change make it convenient change in http so in point is this and the request is post okay so let's see how to call it so this is the endpoint you have to call localhost starting with http at the port 3000 and then call this endpoint okay and this method will be the post method change it to the post and let's just call it and see what happens so i have to make http so you see api key is required as we have not supplied our api key which is mentioned here this api key we need to use okay so actually i'll take you back to the project and give you an overview that when we create this project i have mentioned in the add-ons that there is an seeding for the mongodb so this contains all this seeding information so this is the key that we require so let's add this value will be xapi key and put the value and let's see what all other things are required so we need to pass this information in the body so let's copy this in the body row and the type json okay now let's call this api the headers we have to add this okay we by mistake add it into the params let's remove this and add it to the headers now let's call it so now you can see your api for the sign up is working and you received your tokens you will be requiring these tokens to make other calls okay open the new tab and now what I want to show you that this user is your learner okay and we need to use our API for writing a blog so we need a role for it so if we go into the doc again so suppose we want to call this API that I want to write one blog okay I have to create it okay so blog create so this is the API So let's call this API. And this method is the post method because we are creating a blog. And in the header, again, we have to add x API key, user ID, and this. Let's copy it, make it bulk edit, and key value pair. Okay. So here, 
we have to supply our own API X token and our own user ID that we received when we call the sign up. Okay, so let's use that user ID is this. And then we have access token. Okay. Okay. And we have to supply the body for creating the post. It will be JSON. Okay. If we call it, so there is permission denied because I am not a writer. This user that I signed up with does not have the role of writer assigned. So we need to provide that role to it. So now let's open the MongoDB. Okay. So in the MongoDB, we need to make a connection. So it will be localhost, port is same, make it username and password. So this we created when we seeded our Mongo database. So let's, so let's take that. So we have got Mongo and we created this user blog DB after Academy blog DB and the user is after Academy blog DB user and password is change it. So let's use that. So username DB user password change it and database is DB. Okay, let's connect it. So we are connected, we are having this DB here. So here these documents are already created because we called this in our seed script. So let's go to the roles. So we have got writer role. I will need this user ID. Okay. And then I have to go to that user. It has got roles. I have to provide that role here. So add that role here, make it object ID. Okay. Now the role has been assigned to that user. Now we can call this API again. So here it says that title is required in the body. So let's just use this stem sample only and let's call this. Okay. So you can see that now the blog is created and let's check it in our MongoDB. Okay, so in the blocks, you can find the entry is available here. So now you will be able to call all the API that is listed here. Okay. So go ahead and experiment with the project. One important thing that I would want to show you that how you can run the test. Okay. So in your project again, open up the terminal. Just open a new terminal. And first you need to install the dependencies for this project here. PM install. Okay. So one important thing here is that uh, you'd want to install Node.js and NPM in your machine. Okay. So you can find the instruction online for doing that and make sure that you are running higher version of node that is node 6 plus or if that also does not work use the latest version so now our dependencies has been installed so what we have to do we have to run npm test but before that because we will be running our npm test so we have to make sure that we are running this mongodb instance for integration test otherwise integration test will fail but unit test will pass so let's run npm test. You can see our test is running. So our test has passed, our integration test also passed, sign up passed, login passed. Perfect. So all our test is passed and this is the final coverage report. We'll find the coverage information developed here and you can open this HTML. Okay. So just oh, let's open it in the finder. 
and then run this. So this is the coverage report. Uh, we have covered most of the our code base. Few are left, and I welcome you to uh, contribute to the repository and add test for them. So if you will see that in the core we have covered most of our test cases, and this will also show which has not been covered. Okay. So great. So I hope uh, now you would be able to run the project and explore it that how things are done and for better understanding go through the blog I have mentioned each and everything all the concepts required here and I wish you great learning experience so build and learn so I'll meet you in the next video do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you will get latest video delivered first to you thank you